Hello, hello, hello. Just getting back from the gym. Nothing super cute going on here for me. I am just about to do a little cook with me um, with some new uh, little packets that I found in Walmart and they look really good. So I wanted to throw them into my meal prep this week to try to make some things that are a little different. So I'm gonna turn you around and we're gonna get started. I'll show you what we're working with today. Right, we're gonna start out today with some Indian butter, butter chicken. And I found these at Walmart, as I said, and they are Street Kitchen's um, scratch kits. And they look pretty simple. And all you do, there's several flavors, which I'm super excited about because I love world cuisine. This is the Indian butter chicken and it says three simple steps. We'll see just how easy it is. This one is just add chicken. Some of them are just add chicken or fish or whatever you want and vegetables. And then they also have the different other ingredients that you need on the back. So this one says it serves three to four in 20 minutes. And what are some of the other things? There's nothing artificial, no GMOs. This one is vegetarian friendly if you don't wanna put the chicken in it, I suppose. It's mild, which is perfect for me because I don't like a lot of heat and it's BPA free. So as you can see, there is the spice packets. Lots of good looking stuff there. And on the back here, we've got the recipe. Um, all the things that you'll need to put in it. Indian butter chicken in the pack, you get butter chicken sauce, ginger and garlic pasta, butter chicken spice pack, and you will also need 1.3 pounds of diced chicken pieces. It's optional to put two tablespoons of cream in, I will be doing that, and then also two cups of cooked basmati rice to serve. I'm going to do two cups of cooked cauliflower rice instead. All right, so then we'll get into the steps here in just a minute. Okay, the first thing that I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this Tyson trimmed and ready fresh chicken breast, and this is the thin sliced boneless skinless chicken breast, and I'm going to dice it. One step, because I think it's going to be easier to weigh it before I dice it, is I'm going to weigh out 1.6 pounds of this, which is what this recipe costs for. So there is one point, huh. hang on one second. Aha, I got cheated at the grocery store. This one says 1.1 pounds and it's actually 1.3 ounces so I got cheated from the grocery store but anyway <laughs> we're just gonna go with whatever this is all right so now I'm going to dice up this 1.3 pounds I thought I had 1.1 pounds so anyway I'm over it already I think I may need a better knife than this I don't know yeah nope, this seems to be doing okay so I'm just gonna dice up this chicken All right, so there's all my chicken all diced up and ready to go. Okay, so I'm gonna take a moment to show you the three spice packets that come in the kit. This first one is the ginger garlic paste, which we are in the moment about to toss the chicken in before we get started. The second one is the butter chicken spice packet, so we're gonna flash fry that after we coat the chicken and then this is the yummy goodness that's going to make our sauce right here so those are our three packets there that come in our kit so let's get started with tossing that chicken in the ginger garlic sauce all right so we're going to take our chopped chicken our diced chicken should i say and we're just going to put it in this bowl here so that we can toss it in that ginger garlic sauce And I just wanna show you so you can see how the spice kit works. Sorry, I'm a little close there. Let's see if I can zoom out a little bit. Whoop. 
Oops. Okay. So the packet just has a little zip place here. You just pull and open. Okay. And we're then just gonna dump it in. And of course, I never pull and open like I should, so. There we go, you go from the other side. If one side doesn't work, go from the other side. Mmm, smells really good. And we're just gonna use our hands to get on in there and coat that chicken. I'm excited about these test kits because I just feel like I can follow recipes pretty good, but just knowing all those different wonderful spices from Global Cuisine, I wouldn't do it right. So <laughs> I'm excited to find these where they just put it all together for us. Okay, so we just make sure that all the pieces are nice and covered. Okay, that looks good. All right, on to, we're about to take this packet here and flash fry it in a medium heated, well-oiled pan. So that's what we'll do next. Okay, and I had my pan on super high and my well-oiled pan. So the instructions say in a well, let me get it and read it. So the second step is to sear. We're going to flash fry the spice packet in hot, well-oiled, medium-sized saucepan for five seconds. And then we're gonna add the chicken and cook it for two minutes or until it is well seared on all sides. So that's what I'm gonna do. This is the spice packet. I'm gonna throw that in before my oil starts to burn here. Just for five seconds. One, two, three, four, five. Wow. Crazy, amazing smell. Okay, and then we're gonna throw the chicken in. And we're gonna cook that for two minutes. that from this heat because I feel like it's a little too hot. We want to sear it on all sides. Delicious. And I thought I used too much oil, you guys, but I really did need all that oil, seriously. So tip of the day, make sure that pan is well oiled, like they say. And that chicken is cooking up really quick. Nice and seared on all sides. That looks beautiful. And then it says to simmer. So we're gonna add the cooking sauce to the pan. We're gonna stir the contents and then reduce the heat to low and cover the pan with the lid and simmer until the meat is fully cooked, which is about approximately 20 minutes. So I'm gonna do that now. I've already reduced my heat a little bit because I think it was just way too high, but I'm gonna reduce it even more.
And so here's that butter sauce packet. My goodness, it smells delicious. Make sure I get all of it out. All right, wonderful. We're going to stir that. And then we're going to let it simmer for those 20 minutes. Now, of course, you could pair this with any noodles that you want. Or personally, I could eat this <laughs> without any pasta or anything like that. I'm going to pair it today with riced cauliflower, um, the plain with no sauce packet or anything like that. I get the steam fresh with the sauce packet sometimes. Of course, I don't want to introduce some different sauce to this, so it's just going to be the plain one. Um, but you can do whatever you want with this. Or just eat it by itself, which I'm so sure one of these days I'll probably do that. Okay, and we're going to reduce the heat and... Put this on simmer. So I'm going to leave it on two and cover it up. And I'll be back in just a moment. Okay, and while that's cooking, this is what I'm going to use. I love these guys. I can't say enough about them. The Bird's Eye Steam Fresh um, Veggie Made brand. The rice cauliflower, this is the first time I'm using one that doesn't have a flavor packet that goes in it, but this is just rice cauliflower already made up. You throw the whole bag in the microwave for my microwave for five minutes and it's ready and it's perfect. So while my chicken is cooking, I'm going to do that. Throw this in the microwave for five minutes and we'll be back. Okay, so what I did is I had about three minutes left on my chicken, so I went ahead and opened my bag of cauliflower rice after I let it set in the microwave for a little bit and not be so hot to handle. And I just eyeballed it. This on the pack, whoops, give me one second. This on the pack says there's three and a half, three fourth cup servings. So I didn't do all that with getting the cup measure. I just put what I thought was equivalent amounts in each one of my bowls. And if one gets cheated, so what? It's okay. I'm mainly wanting my chicken right in there. So um, let's get that. All right, guys. Here is our finished product. And it looks uh, freaking amazing. It smells amazing. And I can't wait to try this. So let's go ahead and dish this up and I am going to get a cup measure for this so All right, guys, absolutely delicious. We're gonna try it out in just a second. Okay, so I thought I'd turn it around and so you can see what finished product looks like if you're meal prepping or if you wanted to plate it, then here's what it looks like. Looks absolutely delicious. If you've ever tried rice cauliflower, it is so similar to rice when you put it in dishes like this. And um, one other little small thing, make sure you don't eat these. These are like humongous, like um, grape leaves and bay leaves in these packets. Um, unless you like that sort of thing, you're going to get a mouthful of spices. So it's just in there for the cooking. So take that out before you enjoy. All right, let's go to the table. 
All right, so we are about to get into this. Sorry, I look like I do. I just came from the gym uh, before I got started cooking, but I wanted to make sure that I got this done for you and for me. Um, one step that I forgot to do right before our, I um, put these in meal prep containers is add the two tablespoons of cream. So I use heavy cream. I get a few more. <laughs> points uh, that I'm always working to try to use up. So I'm going to add the heavy cream um, and it did definitely make that look creamier and smoother and that was the suggestion that's on the packet for a smoother curry. Try stirring in two tablespoons of cream right before serving. And then also there was a chef's tip that said check your curry five minutes prior to serving if you'd like a thicker consistency then leave the lid off for the last five minutes of cooking i think the consistency is exactly what i would want it to be i hope you guys can see that pretty good um it looks delicious it looks like some of the best curries that i've had um, before i like curry um so let's give it a taste get some chicken some spices Mm. Mm hmm. Mm. If you're, oops, excuse me. If you're a curry fan, you'll really like this. It's kind of smooth for a curry, so it's not very bitey. That may be because I use the heavy cream. Um, I would recommend this. Let's talk points. Um, for the way that I created it with, um, the spice packet. Um. <clears throat> I was a little bit, tiny bit confused on this, but I'm going to assume that the nutrition information that is on here is for all of the spice packets that came in it. I'm going to assume that 65 calories, which is the total of one serving, is not for chicken and cream and all of that and for basmati rice. Um, so... I put all the information in the recipe tracker for the way that I created it. So with all of the sauce packets, paste packet, the spice packets that are in this kit, that is this information on the here. If you run it through the Weight Watchers tracker, that's only gonna be two points. So if you wanted to use that for something else, if you did wanna make that vegetarian, you could literally do up the sauces and the spices exactly that way and put in broccoli instead and you'd have like a two-point meal full of deliciousness because these packets are amazing um, but if you add the 1.3 pounds of chicken that i added um, and two tablespoons of cream and instead of basmati rice i used the rice cauliflower so that's zero points um, rice cauliflower that's awesome and so this whole serving, this four point, very filling looking serving is only six points. That's pretty awesome. And so if you do use the basmati rice that it costs for, it just raises it to nine points. And it's gonna probably, I don't know, I can't say it's gonna probably be more filling, but if you like really, you know, real rice or basmati rice, um, go for it because it's still not a huge spend. And then of course, if you wanted to bulk this up for some reason, or you just want to get in more vegetables or whatever, you could always throw in some broccoli, um, you know, or whatever you, whatever you want, some onion. If you like things a little more spicy, a little bit more kicky, I could definitely see chopping up a half an onion or, you know, like one of the small onions, throwing some onion in here. Um, maybe even some carrots if you just want to bulk it up a little bit. But I would definitely give this a four out of five yums. Um, uh, the, the reason that I didn't give it that five yums is because the the I like a kick to my curry. Maybe I might try it without the cream, um, but it has a really smooth, smooth taste. So it's, it's delicious, um, but it's not like, oh my God, this is incredible, amazing. It's a good meal and I will definitely be doing it doing it again um it's just not over the top amazing i will reserve my five yums for over the top amazing dinner party worthy this is definitely definitely worthy of being cooked again enjoying often um yeah four out of five yums i hope you enjoyed today um i'm gonna eat because it's like 12 o'clock and i'm hungry all right guys i'll see you later